Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the ideal settings to get your online orders to print to your Clover device. Okay, so what you want to do is go to the Smart Online Order app. Once you open it, you want to go on the top right, see where it says Settings. Press this button right here, Settings. And then when you open up the settings, you'll see some default already check marked, some boxes here. So depending on how many uh, Clover devices you have and how many kitchen printers you have, uh, you'll have you'll need different settings for those purposes. So in this first example, I'm going to kind of put the, the, the basic default settings, okay? So what you want to do is you want to have this box checked. Choose device as default printer. If you have three Clover devices or four Clover devices, for example, three Clover stations and a mini or two Clover stations and a mobile or uh, one Clover station and a flex, you will you'll need to go to the other devices and uncheck this box because only one device can be the default printer, okay? So... If you, if you are at the printer where, where you want your orders to print to, have this box checked. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to auto print order and payment receipts on, print order receipt, check, print customer receipt, check. Print bill receipt, that's up to you. I'm going to leave this unchecked because um, most merchants I speak with, they don't need that box checked. They don't need um, additional receipt printing out. So you'll have an order receipt printout, you'll have a customer receipt printout, and if you want, you can have a bill receipt printout, but that's up to you. Okay, so after that, you can skip this part here. Scroll to the bottom. This is where the main um, difference occurs based on how many kitchen printers you have and label printing. If you are using label printing and you have more than one kitchen printer, turn this on. So let's say you have two kitchen printers but not using label printing, then turn this off. Okay, so let's say you do have label printing, turn this on. Let's say you have three kitchen printers but you're not using label printing, Turn this off and then use auto print settings off. And then what you'll do is you'll, you'll manually choose your kitchen printer from the list here. So right now mine says station because my kitchen printer is not hooked up. But you'll select your kitchen printer or your station. Remember, you can also use your station as your order receipts printer. So it says order receipts printer. So I'm going to choose that one. Choose payment receipts printer and then choose your Clover device. It could be your station. Um, most likely you'll select this name right here, Station Mac Null. Okay. And uh, that's how to do that. Uh, let's say you just have one Clover device, one Clover, um, and you're using your Clover station as your uh, printer as well. Just turn this on to keep it simple. Um, because if you just have the basic setting of one Clover device, just turn that on. Uh, you can, you know, for example, you can have it off and manually choose it, or you can just uh, have it chosen for you. Okay? And that's how you do it. If you have additional questions or need help, um, feel free to press this button here, help about has some frequently frequently asked questions here which you can look through and read uh, you don't need to mess with the notifications of the print settings uh, I mean the the notifications because these are already defaulted so the main thing you want to look at is print settings okay again so this is how you set it up okay thank you so much for your time have a good day